Hello again, 3ds Max comparison with Blender again. And today we're doing physics. So physics simulates real life occurrences, you know, such as bricks falling down onto the ground, jelly, you know, jelly plopping on the ground, or you know, different liquids. And it also simulates cloth. Let's have a look to start with a rigid body simulation. So select the ground plane max ground plane and max, go to rigid bodies and static. Yeah, so it shows it's a static non-moving floor. Select all these cubes, go to animation, mass effects, rigid bodies, and this time it's a dynamic rigid body. Yeah? And then again animation. Mass effects, simulation, bake selected objects. So in Max, we have to bake the objects. Whoops, that's just happening there as well. Okay, so I'm going to turn that off and press play. So we've got all these blocks simulating the fall and they're juddering around and that sort of thing, but we edit that in all these bits here. So we can go into that and mess around with that for a long time. So that's rigid bodies in Max. In Blender, let's select this, add active, add active, add active, and the floor, we're going to add passive, and then play, and here's a nice simulation there. The cool thing about Blender is when you're actually playing the animation you can the physics engine actually simulates as it goes so it doesn't actually need to be baked unlike max so that's rigid body so very quickly i'm going to go to some other ones so there is soft body and max took out the soft body simulation and reactor a good way is to use m cloth and really mess around with the cloth materials on a on an object. Okay, so you can do it like that. Let's just bake it there, see what happens. There you go, bloop. So it sort of simulates stuff going on there. Let's have a look again. Bloop, like, like so. In Blender, soft body, so we've got this. We've subdivided the, the mesh because it has to you know, have a lot of faces to simulate the soft body wobbling in the same way as Max, forgot to say. So here we go, and what we do, we go to soft body there, and then we go to just play, and it's doing nothing because we add active there, and now we press play, and then it will jiggle around, see? Yeah? And you might want to subdivide that. So there you go, that's the rigid and the soft body simulations in Max. Might want to add in Max, there are other ways you can simulate soft bodies. You can do M particle from the particle view, okay, doing this sort of thing, but it's kind of complex and a bit tricky. Yeah. So only look at that if you've got a lot of time to look at things. And Okay, and then finally, doing cloth in Blender, not using it as a bouncy object like this one, we're actually using it as a cloth, and we can do it like this. So we, again, we have to bake in Max. Did I just say Blender just back then? Oh dear, this is Max. Forgive me if I did. So there we go, that's baked the, you know, the, 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 the cloth, and then we go to Blender again, and we're going to go here, and we can do the same thing. So cloth and collision, and then let's press play, and hopefully it'll work. Yes, there we go. It simulates some cloth. So that's the comparison, a bit longer than the other comparisons. But again, this is a brief comparison. I'm not trying to teach you everything to do with physics in Blender, and everything to do with physics in Max. It's just a comparison and 
whatever you're trying to learn, max to blender, blender to max, or both, be expansive, play around, click on these, mess around with all this information here in max, and the same in blender. You know, that's the way we learn to experiment, stuff like that. There's no right or wrong way of doing things in 3D, 3D graphics engine. Sometimes it takes longer, but if you make a result that you want to make, that's what's important. So remember that. So check out my website, www.jamesabelart.com for more tutorials, I always this, and my artwork, and also subscribe to my YouTube channel here for loads more free stuff. All right, okay, thanks very much, and comments and questions welcome. Speak soon. Bye.